Hi guys, welcome to my new tutorial and this is about this very very uh, chic, I think, uh, boho style bag. This is kind of a makeup purse but actually you can use this as a clutch as well and I'm very pleased with it and it's very very easy and fast to do and it's uh, kind of very fashion right now, all this boho style, so I just saw it and I said I have to do this one and also I had uh, some kind of yarn that I bought that actually it wasn't exactly the one that I wanted but it works very well for this one I will drop the link in the description box uh, actually this one you can do with um, spaghetti yarn as well uh, with cotton and it just builds up very easy and you can finish this in a couple of hours it's done and this is the one yarn that I used and I did this one by three so even if you want to use cotton you can use just use three or four of this uh, together in one time and then uh, you can do the same uh, account counting that I did and uh, because I used uh, three of this in the same time so this uh, yarn but by three I had to use this kind of hook which is a four I don't know here you can see it's a 4.5 mm hook but you just use whatever hook that you feel comfortable with okay so you guys know the drill if you are new to my channel just um, I have this kind of tutorials subscribe hit that the bell so you get a notification on every new video that I, I uh, post online and uh, if you are not new to my channel thank you for watching share with your friends uh, give me a thumbs up on your way out and uh, thank you for watching so let's just get into it we will start with a magic circle we will make six chains and now I will just yarn under and I will make a double crochet So if you see, I made a kind of a square and I will make like this another 11. For the next squares, I need to do two chains. And now I just do a double crochet. So now I have two, one, two, and I just keep doing like this until I have 12. So. So I did 11 squares, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and then I will do two chains, I will pull a little bit the thread so I will have a, a smaller hole in the middle and I will carry these three yarns and now I will insert the hook at the third stitch this one always over so I can carry them yarn under and pull through and pull through now I will continue with the second round and I will have seven chains seven yarn under and then now I'm going to do a bobble stitch yarn under insert in the middle of the first square and yarn under and pull like this, yarn under and pull through the first two loops and you will carry and then yarn under again and then go under in the middle of the square 
and yarn under again and then carry and then yarn under and pull through two loops so now you will carry three loops and the last one yarn under on this side and carry insert the hook in the middle of the square yarn under and pull through if you see you will have five loops so now you yarn under and just pull through all the five loops and now uh, three chains one two three and now we will go on and work in the second square and we will do the same <music> we will just do the same like before three chains and we will do another bubble stitch here we do three of them we have one side of the square so here at the third one we will have four chains so now we are going to do the corner here and I will yarn under and I will have a double crochet and I will insert the hook here where I have not the square in the middle of the square but where we have the double crochet and insert the hook, yarn under and pull through, make it a little bit high and yarn under and pull through, yarn under and pull through. This is uh, the corner, okay? Now I will continue with uh, the next side of the square. To do that I will have four chains. One, two, three, four. And now I will have the same bubble stitch that I did here. I did the second part of the square, so I will just repeat the same another two times. This is how it is going to look like. And here I did the fourth uh, corner and I did the three bubble stitches. I will do four chains. So I will just insert the hook at the third stitch, yarn under and pull through. And this I will just pull it through again and I will close this, this is how it is going to look like okay so now we are going to do another uh, two rounds at the third round here I'm not going to have a, I'm not going to have six chains as I did but I'm going to have seven because it's a little bit bigger so <music> I will just do the bubble stitch same as before and I will have three chains and then I will just do another bubble stitch here and here and here and then I will turn the corner right I will do the corner so in this round I won't have three bubble stitches but I will have one two three four bubble stitches right and here I will have uh, five chains <laughs> A double crochet and then another five stitches and here I will just continue to do the bubble stitch right so I will do this until the end here at the corner of course we are uh, going to connect I did five chains and now at the third chain here I will insert the hook and under and 
pull through and this I will just pull through again. So now I connect it and I have uh, three rounds. Now I will do the last one and I will have eight chains. just do a bubble stitch at each square that I have. So in this case I have how many we have here? We have one, two, three, four, five. So in this case we will have five bubble stitches on each side of the square. So I finished this first side and here I, at the last bubble stitch I will do five chains and I will have a double crochet here to turn the corner as usually and again I will just do the same so now that I have finished the last round I have closed here I just cut the yarn and then I will do another piece like this I already did here a second one so now we are just going to connect these two pieces together uh, before that I also did a uh, lining and then I did the sewing in three sides and I have one opening here okay which is going to be the inside part I am going to sew these three sides and then I will insert the lining inside and then I also did some decoration I did this cord I did the white one I want to combine them and I did some white tassels and some uh, blue tassels so I am going to put all this together and let me show you what is the final result <music> 